I'll tell you how to change your DNS servers quickly, easily, and cheaply. First, you need to go to Gibson Research Corporation's website slash DNS benchmark HDRTM. Then, what you find on here, the download, download it, and all, you don't even have to say anything, it comes running. And just come over, open it up wherever you save it at. Oh. Okay. Once you get it going, just come over here. One is administrator, it'll be a file internet access. Then it'll give you a slight tutorial on what it's got to do, etc. So all you really need to do is just come across here. Oh, but it's still finding DNS servers in this area. These three are the three that I've already chosen. Any any DNS servers that you are, you've already chosen on your computer, mostly don't you know, if you're watching this video you only see Google Public DNS 8.8.8.8. Well, it's so they're ready for you. But maybe your computer's been walked over by someone else who has done this. And you've just gone to some different location or that solver is no longer walking anymore, so it's not going fast enough. So it has, I believe, 75 different it's DNS solvers. All you have to do is click one benchmark and it'll start running. Running and checking how long it takes for each one. I uh, don't want anything else. Actually, I should have this Chrome closed out when I'm running this to get most accurate results. Uh, everything seems to be going okay. I'm going to pause and start again when it has finished. Okay. Well, I got enough data that I can show you everything. Of course, these bars here you see it started to get better to be all the way across. And I'll have data for each and every one of these right here. But I would recommend going to tabular data because it's a lot easier to read. Your best score is listed up top. Often what I'll do is I'll go through the average, take the highest average one, which is the at top, once again. Take that one, put it as my main. Then next I'll do the most reliable, the first one that set has all 100s. So here I have complete reliability on every single one of them and the very top. Often though you only have you have only a few at the very top with full reliability. But find that one, put that one in. Then I would use your default, usually the Google one, as your very last one. Because Google is almost always up. This is basically just to speed you up and make sure you never have internet problems on any side but your own. You can also come up with a conclusion. It'll have a conclusion on what all is going on with your system, what you have set up right, what you don't have set up right, etc. So, say you want to go ahead and change your DNS. All you have to do to do that is come over. Or go actually easiest way when you do a step is just come up here or open it open the or then come off or change adapter settings. <clears throat> I'm gonna change one of my wires. So you can do it on any of them. For the most part y'all just have maybe a Bluetooth but I would change the Bluetooth it's actually I don't believe you can. Local area connection and your wireless network connection. Local area is just like your Ethernet, your dial up if you still have that up here. But I'm going to do it on my wireless. So you come across, go to properties. Across, go to your uh, uh, internet protocol version for TC, TCP slash IPv4. So I'm hit, click properties, or you can double click, and it'll list your preferred DNS servers. It only has room for two. But if you come along to advanced, go to DNS, you could add more than two. You can add as many as you want. I only use three. But if you wanted, if you were really feeling annoyed about losing your internet connection or wanted the fastest or most reliable, you could list all the ones that the uh, 
DNS benchmark he all gives you, which as you see is quite a few. But you can just click add copy right off of here. They will actually let you do a pretty easy copy by just holding down go you cost them. You have to copy paste, but here's a trick. You have to go and delete the space between every one of these, otherwise it does not view it as a real I real IP address for these DNS servers. It's actually two spaces. And just click add, you're done. If you want to remove one, hit remove, it's gone. You can also edit them and change part ones that are in there so you put in the number wrong instead of just removing it. Just change one number and said that we had already done a dial thing. Once you're done, just hit OK. Validate settings part exit. Click OK once again. Close. And Windows Network Diagnostics will pop up to make sure that everything is set up. See here, could identify a problem. So that means you set up your, your connection correctly. If it did identify a problem, either fix it by itself or you need to go back in and change it back to the way it defaultly was or make sure you have the right numbers in there. Well, I hope that helped some of you get a faster internet connection today.